Hello, welcome to Sleepy Storytime. I'm Miss Mac, and I have a special story to read. But first, I have a friend for you to meet. This is Felix the Bear, and he has a special message to share. He's a little shy, so he wrote his message down and asked if I could read it out loud. Greetings, children. My name is Felix. Not only am I a friend of Ms. Mac, but I have many buddies at Hayden Library. I've recently been invited to a very special sleepover being held at Hayner Library at Alton Square. It's a sleepover just for stuffed animals. The clever staff of KidSpace has many fun activities planned for the stuffed animals in attendance. And of course, we're going to stay up really late. If any child watching this video has a stuffed animal who might be interested in joining the fun, be sure to drop them off on January 19th to a staff member in KidSpace. For more information on this event, we, we will, what did you write there? Oops. It will be posted at the end of this video. More information will be posted at the end of this video. Oh my, Felix. Thank you for your time. Sincerely, Felix the Bear. Thank you, Felix, for sharing this information. It does sound like a big, cuddly celebration. Felix, would you like to stay while I read a book? What's that? Do I have a story about a bear? Well, let me have a look. Well, how about Corduroy by Don Freeman? Yeah? Sounds good? Okay, let's begin. Corduroy is a bear who once lived in a toy department of a big store. Day after day, he waited with all the other animals and dolls for someone to come along and take him home. The store was always filled with shoppers buying all sorts of things, but no one ever seemed to want a small bear in green overalls. Then one morning, a little girl stopped and looked straight into Corduroy's bright eyes. Oh, Mommy, she said, look, there's the fairy bear I've always wanted. Not today, dear, the mother sighed. I've spent too much already. Besides, he doesn't look new. He's lost a button to one of his shoulder straps. Corduroy watched them sadly as they walked away. I didn't know I lost a button, he said to himself. Tonight, I'll go and see if I can find it. Late that evening, when all the shoppers had gone and the doors were shut and locked, Corduroy climbed down carefully from his shelf and began searching everywhere on the floor for his lost button. Suddenly, he felt the floor moving under him. Quite by accident, he stepped onto the escalator, and up he went. Could this be a mountain, he wondered? I think I've always wanted to climb a mountain. <laughs> he thinks he's on a mountain. He stepped off the escalator as it reached the next floor, and there, before his eyes, was the most amazing sight. 
tables and chairs and lamps and sofas and rows and rows of beds. This must be a palace, Corduroy gasped. I guess I've always wanted to live in a palace. Yeah. He wandered around admiring the furniture. This must be a bed, he said. I've always wanted to sleep in a bed. And he climbed onto a large, thick mattress. All at once he saw something small and round. Why, here's my button, he cried. And, and he tried to pick it up, but like all the other buttons on the mattress, it was tied down tight. Uh-oh, Felix. What's going to happen? He yanked and pulled with both paws until pop off came the button and off the mattress corduroy toppled. Bang into a tall floor lamp. Over it fell with a crash. Ooh. Corduroy didn't know it. But there was someone else awake in the store. The night watchman was doing his rounds on the floor above when he heard the crash and came dashing down the escalator. Now who in the world did that? he exclaimed. Somebody must be hiding around here. Uh-oh, Felix. The bear's gonna get caught. He flashed his light under and over sofas and beds until he came to the biggest bed of all. And there he saw two fuzzy brown ears sticking up from under the cover. Hello, he said. How did you get upstairs? Oh. The watchman tucked Corduroy under his arm and carried him down the escalator and set him on the shelf in the toy department with all the other animals and dogs. Corduroy was just waking up when the first customer came into the store in the morning. And there, looking at him with a wide, warm smile, was the same girl he'd seen only the day before. I'm Lisa, she said, and you're going to be my very own bear. Last night, I counted what I saved in my piggy bank, and Mother said I could bring you home. Oh! Shall I put him in a box for you? The sales lady asked. No, thank you, said Lisa. And she carried Corduroy home in her arms. She ran all the way up four flights of stairs into her family's apartment and straight into her own room. Corduroy blinked. There was a chair and a chest of drawers, and alongside a girl-sized bed stood a little bed just the right size for him. The room was small, nothing like the enormous palace in the department store. This must be home, he said. I know I've always wanted a home. Lisa sat down with Corduroy on her lap and began to sew a button on his overalls. I like you the way you are, she said, but you'll be more comfortable with your shoulder strap fastened.
you must be a friend, said Corduroy. I've always wanted a friend. Me too, said Lisa, and gave him a big hug. The end. Felix, did you like that story? Yeah? Well, Felix, if I may speak freely, you're looking very sneaky. What's that? Do I know a bear lullaby? Well, I shall try. Get nice and snug there. Hug, hug, hug your bear. Squeeze him very tight. Lift him high and let him fly till it's time to say good night. <laughs> hug, hug, hug your bear. Squeeze him very tight. You let him fly in the sky. Now it's time to say good night. Shh. Oh, good night, Felix. And good night to all of you. I hope to see you again real soon. Bye-bye.